good morning team uh, rustam ji keystone real estate now they have uh, been selected as a developer of choice for a redevelopment plot uh, in ba basant park cooperative society measuring almost 16896 square meter in chembur mumbai so they say this this can be built as 275000 square feet and the project would be launched in fy24 so it is a initial stage so this is something positive for ratham the uh, national fertilizer limited nfl has clocked growth of 27% in total fertilizer sale during april december 2022 company reported sales of 49.71 lakh metric ton versus 39.25 lakh metric ton company has done very good in urea sales dap and complex fertilizer company has introduced pdm potash derived uh, from molasses micro nutrient and water soluble fertilizer so so this is something positive for nfl it is a business update which nfl has given in the exchange <laughs> Aditya Brilla Fashions (ABFRL) will raise 500 crore NCD uh, on a private placement on or after 13 January. Uh, RSWM uh, rights issue for 235 crores has been oversubscribed <laughs> by approximately 1.31 times. <laughs> Positive for this textile stock. Uh, there is one update on nr agarwal industries they are into you know uh, waste paper manufacture you know, they recycle and they manufacture paper they have to permanently shut down unit 3 which has a revenue of 213 crores which is uh, 13% of overall revenue you now from a plant in wapi valsa gujarat the company said market condition not favorable and the increase in uh, raw material cost is also very bad and their machine is not up to the mark i think this is very negative for nr agarwal and <clears throat> when paper industries is doing very well this company is not able to run its plant it is not uh, looking good in my view so we need to avoid this stock <clears throat> there are multiple stock when market was weak in the last week there were stocks which were giving positive return oil marketing companies on average has given 6% return last week ioc in the petro bpcl were few stocks in that space even life insurance stock has been coming out of the their negative thing in the last two years so hdfc life icic pro uh, max financial sbi uh, life these are few stocks which have come out of uh, their no consolidation phase i think there is more upside to these stocks and even vector food is looking good you know they also started to outperform last week but the numbers of titan or you know kalyan jewelers are not too impressive so i think titan can correct after dmart numbers you know even we had few numbers which came bajaj finance number after which the stock is corrected titan for this valuation has to grow about 25% 12% growth is not going to move the needle india turns net importer of steel in q3 fy23 is what uh, indian data is saying the net, net import of uh, steel is 7 lakh 6000 tons <laughs> import is total import is 18486 uh, uh, tons now after uh, our export it is net uh, 7 lakh tons this is due to discontinue uh, discounted steel from russia so russian steel are 20% down and this uh, has been reflected in tata steel provisional numbers which are points out to tata steel european operation so you know russian steel is far cheaper that is impacting our steel companies so i think uh, steel stocks can start correcting <laughs> there can be one or two outliers but overall you no know, the pricing power is not coming back to them you now discom outstanding due to uh, to power companies nearly half at 62681 crores in january 
compared to 1,21,030 crores in January 2022. Uh, this is very positive for power sector. Now, power manufacturers are likely to benefit because their working capital is not stuck up. They get money very fast. And lenders like REC and PFC also will benefit. High tech pipes have signed a MOE with government of Uttar Pradesh to set up a mega manufacturing steel tube pipes and flat steel processing with investment of 510 crores. Shoba reported 36% year on year rise in sales booking at 1,424 crores. And this is the highest ever quarterly booking. And price realization is also higher by 22% at 9,250 per square foot. Uh, today, you know, results will start. TCS will be the first to announce results. So, and we need to understand, you know, many IT stocks are also there in this week. Um, and then the results will start to move forward faster. And you know, there was one Times of India report where they say uh, China COVID has you know, improved demand for Indian genetic drug. So I think uh, Indian pharma companies like Sun Pharma, Sipla would be a major beneficiary. Uh, and in Times of India, there is one more news which says that Adani Enterprises, a special court in Delhi asked, asked the CBI to investigate into Adani Enterprises bid for coal block in Jharkhand. We don't know what is the impact. Sindal Steel and Power will invest up to 1,500 crore to make recently acquired Monat Power operational. This investment will be for over a period of next 12 to 18 months. <laughs> With that, over to you, Vikas. Uh, thank you, sir. Good morning, everyone. This call ko hum Hindi mein kar lete hain. Ashoka uh, Wilpan ne uh, declare kiya hai L1 for project, uh, for road EPC project Bihar mein jo 21 billion ka hai inko NH AI se mila hai along with this uh, company ne aur do project liye hain jo 81 billion ka hai from uh, Dakshin Achal Vidyut Vitran Limited se and uh, our, uh, development of power uh, distribution infra in Aligarh and Agra और ये जो ऑर्डर है वो एग्रीगेटिंग 30 बिलियन है और जो ऑर्डर रिसीव हुआ है वर्थ 24 बिलियन है जो क्वार्टर 3 में है और ये हाफ ईयर के लिए जो ऑर्डर इनफ्लो है वो 50 बिलियन है तो और इन पॉजिटिव साइड पे हम देखते हैं स्टॉक को बाय रेटिंग 93 के टारगेट के साथ टाटा स्टील के जो प्रोविजनल प्रोडक्शन वॉल्यूम है वो बढ़ के आए हैं 7.52 मिलियन इन क्वार्टर uh, 3 में जो उनके क्वार्टर 2 के 7.5 मिलियन uh, 7.5 मिलियन थे पर उनकी जो डिलीवरीज है वो थोड़ी गिर के आई है जो 6.98 मिलियन टन है क्वार्टर 3 में जो 7.8 मिलियन टन थी क्वार्टर 2 महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा फाइनेंशियल सर्विस क्रिसल ने सॉरी <coughs> रेट <coughs> रेटिंग अपडेट किया है लॉन्ग टर्म बैंक फैसिलिटीज के लिए जो सबऑर्डिनेट डेट और एनसीडीज है उनकी जो पहले रेटिंग थी ट्रिपल डबल ए स्टेबल थी जो अब क्रिसल से बढ़ा के ट्रिपल ए स्टेबल कर दी गई है टाटा टाइटन कंपनी है जो बिजनेस अपडेट आया है दिसंबर में जिनकी ज्वेलरी बिजनेस है जो 11% से ग्रो हुई है ईयर ऑन ईयर बेसिस पे और उनकी जो वॉचेस है और वेरिएबल सेगमेंट है ग्रो हुआ है 14% से उनके जो आई केयर वर्टिकल रजिस्टर्ड है वो 10% से ग्रो हुआ है और उनके जो फ्रेगरेंस और अपरेल बिजनेस है वो 75% से ग्रो हुआ है और उनके जो स्टैंड अलोन बेसिस पे जो टाइटन कंपनी है उसने 2 लाख 2362 स्टोर्स का दिसंबर में आया है कल्याण ज्वेलर है उसका बिजनेस अपडेट आया है दिसंबर मंथ का जो क्वार्टर कंपनी ने रिकॉर्ड किया है रेवेन्यू जो बड़ा है उनका अप्रोक्सीमेटली 13% से और मिडिल ईस्ट मिडिल ईस्ट में जो बिजनेस ग्रो हुआ है वो 24% से ग्रो हुआ है और जो एक्चुअली वो बढ़ के आया है एज पर कस्टमर सेंटीमेंट से बंधन बैंक का अपडेट आया है दिसंबर क्वार्टर का तो लोअर नेट एडवांसेस बढ़ के आए हैं 14% से 
जो कि है 1.01 लाख करोड़ पे और उनके जो कैसा डिपॉजिट है उसमें डिक्लाइन हुआ है थ्री परसेंट का अराउंड रुपीज थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड वन नाइनटी फोर करोड़ से और जो कैसा का रेशियो है वो थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर परसेंट है जो पहले फोर्टी पॉइंट फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट था उनकी जो टोटल डिपोजिट है वो बढ़कर आई है ट्वेंटी से जो वन लाख करोड़ है TCS ने फ्राइडे को एक डील करार की थी फ्लोरिडा बेस्ड ओडीपी कॉर्पोरेशन आईटी पार्टनर के साथ जो डील डील के जो फाइनेंशियल है वो डिस्क्लोज नहीं किए गए थे उनके जो रिटेल स्टोर है वो अराउंड है 1400 हंड्रेड स्टोर है उनके पास तो ये एक्चुअली TCS के लिए बहुत अच्छा डेवलपमेंट डेवलपमेंट है और TCS एस यहाँ से एक बाय रेटिंग का स्टॉक बनता है थाउजेंड नाइनटी फाइव के टारगेट के साथ सॉरी एच सी टी सी एस का रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ आया है जो फोरकास्ट हुआ है जीरो पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट क्वार्टर इन क्वार्टर इन सी सी टर्म्स और जो उनके करेंसी टेलविंड है वो टेन बी पी पी एस आए हैं और उनके जो इम्प्रूव यूटिलाईजेशन है जो फोरकास्ट किए गए हैं 35 फाइव बीपीएस क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर इम्प्रूवमेंट हुआ है जो मार्जिन 24.4 परसेंट के साथ हुआ है आ, उन, उनके जो आ, की की थिंग्स है जो देखने लायक है वो इम्पैक्ट है उनका जो वर्टिकल जो है मैक्रो सिचुएशन का एट्रीशन ट्रेंड है और टी सी वी जो डील है करंटली uh, हम uh, हमारा यहाँ पे होल्ड होल्ड uh, का रेटिंग है स्टॉक जो टारगेट प्राइस है थ्री टू थ्री फाइव का सॉरी एस बी आई ने री अपॉइंटमेंट किया है एम डी और सीईओ के लिए रमा मोहन राव को और एशियन पेंट्स है उनके बी डी अप्रूव हेटिंग के लिए न्यू वाटर बेस्ड प्लान मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटी जो कैपेसिटी है फोर लैख टन एन एम की तो जो जिसका इन्वेस्ट है टू इन्वेस्टमेंट है टू थाउजेंड करोड़ और जो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटी जो वो एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं ये थ्री इयर्स के लिए उनके आफ्टर लैंड एक्विजिशन के साथ जेके सीमेंट जो होली ओन सब्सिडी है जेके पेंट एंड कॉटिंग उन उनका उनमें इन्वेस्टेड किया है 153 करोड़ का जो इन्वेस्टमेंट हुआ है वो 60 परसेंट इक्विटी शेयर के साथ हुआ है और जो एक्रोपेंट्स का है आईसीआईसीआई लोम्बा दिसंबर मंथ में अपडेट आया है उनकी जो प्रीमियम है वो बड़े हैं 9.10 परसेंट से तो ईयर टू डेट प्रीमियम अप टू 21 परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर बड़े हैं और मार्केट शेयर जो है वो 31 बेसिस पॉइंट्स के साथ 8.71 पॉइंट ईयर ऑन ईयर बढ़ा है जो ग्लैंड फार्मा का कंपनी का होली ऑन सब्सिडी है वो एंटर्ड हुए है सेल्स परचेज एग्रीमेंट विद एफ पी सी आई सीनो फ्रेंच मिडकेप फंड के साथ और उनका जो कंट्रोलिंग एक्विजिशन रहेगा वो हंड्रेड परसेंट से स्टेक रहेगा सीनेक्स एंड सिलिक्स होल्डिंग एंटिटीज के साथ उसके बाद शोभा डेवलपर ने रिपोर्ट किया है थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर ग्रोथ जो उनकी सेल्स बुकिंग के सेल्स बुकिंग का टर्नओवर रेवेन्यू है जो वन करोड़ का है जो दिसंबर क्वार्टर के लिए है और वो ये सबसे हाईएस्ट सेल किया है उन्होंने और जो उनकी एवरेज प्राइस रियलाइजेशन है वो इम्प्रूव हुई है ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट से ऑन ईयर ऑन ईयर बेसिस जो ये नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी स्क्वायर फिट के लिए ये प्रोजेक्ट किया गया है की स्टोन रियलटर डेवलपर है जिन्होंने चेंबूर में एक प्रोजेक्ट लिया है बसंत पार्क में तो ये अराउंड 16,896 स्क्वायर फीट का डेवलपमेंट करने वाले हैं मुंबई एरिया में और ये एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर में इसका इनिशियल स्टेज पे ये काम चालू हो जाएगा ये भी एफ आर एल फैशन है जिन्होंने प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट से 500 करोड़ का लेने का फंड लेने का निर्णय किया है और पावर पावर स्टॉक्स है जो भी अभी यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छे लग रहे हैं जैसे कि आर एफ आर एफ सी है पी एफ सी है ये सब यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छे दिख रहे हैं तो यहाँ से हम वहां पे बैठ ले सकते हैं
technical and derivatives outlook so during the last week saw that uh, there was some selling pressure in the market and nifty was down by 1.36% so during the week nifty almost came to 17800 level the low was 17795 and then it uh, witnessed some amount of bounce so we are of the opinion that nifty is trading in the range where the lower side is 17800 it means the demand zone so just in case if the panic continues and 17800 level breaks then 17500 will be the next level to watch but uh, uh, majorly we believe 17800 will be the support having said this on the on the higher side this 18200 to 18300 this is the level that nifty is continuously facing resistance even the 50 day moving average is coming close to 18300 level so we are not of the opinion that there will be a major sell off in the market but a little bit of selling might be there and we are almost near the lower side uh, demand zone today being a sgx positive we might close open close to 18000 level but then again this is the level where uh, during the last two weeks we were seeing the selling pressure so i believe this 18200 18300 will be the higher side cap and lower side 17800 and 17500 so this will be the lower side range uh, we will maintain we maintain a range bound view for the week and coming to bank nifty bank in bank nifty we saw the weakness when 43000 level was broken so right now the bank nifty is a 42188 and previously if we uh, understand 41800 and 41500 that was a very strong base from where the bank nifty took support and it uh, rallied on the higher side so now it is again coming back to the support levels of 41800 so i believe this will act as a support for the bank nifty but on the way up uh, it has to sustain above 43000 so whenever the bank nifty sustains above 43000 again the positive momentum will be uh, there so for the bank nifty i would maintain 41500 and 43000 that would be the range for the bank nifty uh sector specific i think uh, this auto and private banks will be uh, followed by metals this will be the sectors which will perform during the week whereas the it uh, there is a still uh, weakness on the chart so any bounce will be sold off so we have uh, we will have a cautious view on the it stocks uh, the there are five stocks which are looking very strong on uh, from the chart from the positional point of view so uh, those are uh, godrej industries cr Uh, max financials hindustan copper and sbi life this can be a positional bet so whenever the index comes to 17800 we will uh, we can uh, view to take a long positions in this counter uh, coming to fi data uh, nifty futures has uh, seen a short build up in friday session to the tune of 2.95% and with a total outstanding of 12.96 million shares the pcr also uh, pcr remains same at 0.75 to 0.75 but it is uh, still uh, trading below the one ratio which is slightly negative and the major put option was seen at 17500 and 17600 so this should be the support and the major uh, call option was seen in the 18000 and 18100 so that should be the resistance coming to bank nifty the bank nifty uh, saw the long unwinding in the friday session Uh, to the tune of minus 0.337 percent. So major additions were seen in the 42,000 and 41,000 put options. So that will be the support. And on the higher side, 42,500, 43,000 call option. So that will be the resistance. The put call ratio actually declined in Bank Nifty. Uh, earlier it, uh, on Thursday it was 0.66, and Friday it was 0.58. So the PCR has declined. So that's that uh, from the derivatives point of view, it's a negative thing. but uh, as i said we uh, i'm making a range bound view for the both the indices and lastly the fi data so even though when the market was falling the fi's are not sold on the uh, friday session hardly there were 700 lots uh, uh, contracts sold and net they are short by 25000 contracts at the long short ratio is 41% so we maintain a range bound view for the week uh, so that's all for my i will hand out to vishal sir for more uh, research updates yeah good morning uh, team good morning sir so uh, to start up with a uh, couple of news update uh, one is ashoka buildcom the company has uh, declared uh, that it is l1 for a road project in bihar which is around 2100 crore now with this if you look at company will uh, beat its order inflow guidance uh, for the second half because uh, till now including this l1 project the order inflow in the second half is more than like 5000 odd crore which was uh, which company has guided uh, at the end of quarter 2 so what we understand is uh, 
though i mean like the order inflow is positive company will revise its uh, guidance upward in the quarterly results season uh, mm-hmm. we we have a positive view on ashoka buildcon uh, next is on uh, tata steel so tata steel has reported its uh, quarterly number though overall i mean if you look at uh, the crude oil uh, crude steel production uh, stood at around uh, uh, 5 million ton which is up by 4% on annual basis uh, deliveries uh, were up by 7% now uh, if you look at segment wise uh, Uh, automotive in uh, special products they have delivered uh, a positive set of volume growth uh, the weakness uh, in terms of segment is particularly from the tata steel europe steel, uh, steel deliveries uh, which was uh, down uh, by around 5 odd percentage point uh, but yes i think uh, uh, the takeaways like you know uh, to conclude with the takeaways like you know tata steel uh, volumes uh, they were uh, i mean largely in line with what we were estim- estimating but in terms of segment wise where the volume growth is coming automotive is one segment where they are seeing a pretty a uh, good volume uh, in terms of numbers which is a uh, positive for uh, even like an you know, auto companies as such uh, <coughs> showing that the demand is continuing in the, in the automobile sector <clears throat> next is on mahindra mahindra financial so mnm uh, has uh, received an upgrade in its uh, rating for the long term uh, bank facility uh, which is like you know earlier it used to be a uh, crisel a plus table now it is crisel triple uh, a uh, stable uh, this this boards well for mnm uh, financial services next in terms of business updates so couple of companies have announced their business updates for quarter 3 uh, to start up with first <coughs> titan titan uh, company has announced a business update for the month of december uh, where like the jewelry business has grown by 11% on yn by basis Uh, watches have grown by 14% now if you look at uh, um, most of the segments they have delivered uh, double digit growth uh, so uh, two of the segment are just highlighted another is like you know eyewear uh, which is up by 10% <clears throat> and then uh, fragrance and apparel which is on a low base is up by 75% Now overall, uh, in terms of volume number, uh, or probably like you know, in terms of business uh, update number, it is positive what the Tata Tata uh, uh, has reported uh, for the Titan uh, company. Uh, next is on uh, Kalyan Jewelers. So Kalyan Jewelers uh, Jewelers have updated for the December uh, uh, quarterly update uh, in terms of uh, business. The the revenue growth uh, stood at a thirteen percent. Which is a sequential uh, number, and uh, this is primarily led by like you know Middle East segment. Uh, which is like twenty four percent on a uh, quarter quarter basis. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> yeah. So I think uh, uh, in terms of business, uh, what the Middle East is showing is like you know overall the oil prices is pretty uh, strong out there, and then uh, that what uh, uh, in the last twenty uh, four odd months, whatever uh, like you know the the uh, uh, probably oil prices which has moved up. So that what is could reflected in terms of numbers which Kalyan Jewelers is reporting overall uh, positive sector number from uh, the Kalyan Jewelers. Uh, next is on Bandhan Bank. So Bandhan Bank has reported uh, its uh, business update for the December quarter. If you Look at the loan growth is up by fourteen percent on Y and Y basis. Casa has uh, declined by three percent, which is again like you know many of the companies they have reported a weakness of Casa. So the same thing is there. And deposit growth is pretty strong at twenty one percent on Y and Y basis. Overall, I mean if you look at uh, Bandhan Bank, uh, so pretty uh, 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 good set of numbers which they reported. Now this is uh, about like you know in a banking space as a whole, we have seen the updates which is uh, whether by HDFC Bank or even like you know from the likes of uh, at a bottom rung which is. Like like rbl bank so numbers are pretty strong and that bodes well for the sector as a whole again the same thing is reflected in the bandhan bank uh, numbers uh, the uh, next thing from my side is hcl tech hcl tech on friday they have reported they have won a deal uh, to service uh, florida, florida based uh, odp corporation from its uh, primary it partnership uh, which is uh, if you look at this is a positive for uh, hcl though in terms of uh, size wise they have not reported much detail but odp is if you look at american retail store company has around 1400 stores uh, this overall i mean the, the deal win is positive for hcl tech we currently have a buy rating with a target price of 1095 uh last thing from my side is on uh, lupin so company has received a us fd approval for uh, one of its uh, drug and if you look at size wise the tablet has an estimated annual sale of 117 million usd in the us now this bodes well uh, for lupin uh, yeah with this i'll uh, conclude now and hand it over to a t and sir go to you thank you vishal uh, sir few updates from my side Uh, first update on SBI card. Uh, SBI card reappoints Rama Mohan Ram uh, Amra as MD and CEO with effect from January 13, 2023. Then next update on uh, Asian Paints. Uh, board approves setting up the new water-based paint manufacturing facility 
with the capacity of whole uh, LKKL per annum at an approximate investment of rupees two thousand crore. This manufacture uh, manufacture facility is expected to be commissioned in three years after acquisition of a land. The next update on uh, JK Cement. Uh, so, wholly owned subsidiary JK Paints and Coatings invested around one fifty three crore and completed the acquisition of sixty percent equity shares of uh, Acro Paints. The next update on ICICI Lombard that is ICICI GI. So, uh, provisional numbers. So, December month updated December premium up nine point one zero percentage uh, and the premium up twenty one percentage year on year. And market share up thirty one basis points at eight point five seven percentage year on year. Uh, the next update on Gland Pharma. The company through uh, its wholly owned subsidiary has entered into share purchase agreement with FPCI Sino French Midcap Funds, and as a controlling seller to acquire hundred percent stake in Synexy and Synexy Holding entities.